I'm the Sutro. I'm the Jawbreaker. Well, I'm better than you. No, I'm better than you. Well, I'm newer and hipper and cooler, and well, I've been around longer. And I, I... But what's going on here? Hi, my name is Tyler. I'm coming at you from SportRx with my buddy Andrew. And uh, we are talking about the new Sutro versus the tried and true Jawbreaker. And uh, hopefully we have some interesting information for you if you feel like we didn't cover enough. Check in the description below because there is a link to a blog, which is info rich. Uh, so let's just jump right into it. Uh, the Jawbreaker, like I said, has been around for a little while. Definitely a great cycling frame. Uh, like I said, tried and true, uh, really cool looking frame as well. But then we have this new Sutro, which I think is a really cool frame. It is, it is. I think, you know, obviously there's some similar similarities and uh, some differences between the two, which we'll, we'll cover for you. But overall, I think this has, you know, maybe a little bit of a more lifestyle appeal to it, but it can yeah. still be used for sport. It's sort of a, a cross-functional frame. Yeah. Whereas I feel like the Jawbreaker is pretty, I mean, it's pretty aggressive, very, very sporty exactly. looking. Yeah, that's my exact thought. So um, I definitely agree with that. It's an interesting kind of a hybrid uh, sort of blend. So it definitely has that cool factor going for it. I see the the kids that are getting into cycling, you know, the young, like late teens, early 20s, whatever, the younger kids, uh, really digging this look because it gives you that same coverage that you like in and see so often with the professional riders with these big shield designs, but it just has a really unique shape and uh, and style to it, which I really dig, to be honest. Uh, a few things though that we definitely need to cover, I would say from a sport perspective, aggressive is, is right on the jawbreaker. It is definitely more aggressive, both in terms of the aesthetics, how it looks, but also in terms of the features. Uh, so with this, you're gonna get more of an obtainium. You're gonna get some on the temple, which is adjustable, by the way, which is pretty neat. I don't know if you can see the difference. This one's on the short end, this one's on the long end. Flip this little guy up, and you just slide it in for that little more customized uh, fit and feel. You know, every helmet's a little different. The, that gives you a little more uh, customizability there, which is nice. You also have the ability to interchange the lens, this nose piece. Uh, folds in, pops up, and then this whole bottom drops out. So you can get multiple sets of lenses for this and for different you know, riding conditions, whereas that's not really an option for this. The other thing to call out is this really big, uh, beefy nose piece here full of that unobtainium, uh, which is super nice for really the best grip you can get, as well as comfort. I would agree with that. And with this, the temples, you know, no unobtainium there, just strict O matter material. Um, you do have a nice saddle bridge though. It's a little bit of kind of a similar design there. So uh, major contact points along the edge of unobtainium there to keep the frames in place. Yeah, so not to disparage the Sutro. It's not like I'm talking up all the features on this, which granted it has, but that Sutro, don't. Don't lose it, don't forget about it. It's a really cool frame. One more thing though to note about the Jawbreaker is that it is actually RX-able. Um, I think we did a video on this, I'm pretty sure, so you can actually see uh, the prescription in it. So definitely note that before you order in a prescription. It's a little more limited in terms of lens colors as well, uh, but still available, so something to note. But I love this Sutro. I can see myself wearing it if I didn't need to yeah. wear a prescription. Maybe we should try these on. That's a good idea. Tons of coverage Aggressive. with this. Maybe a little big for me, I don't know. I think it still looks cool, man. You wanna switch? Anyway, let, let's switch. Anyway, check us out uh, in the comments down below if you have any questions, you feel like we didn't cover anything, anything you would like more info on, we'd love to hear from you. Call us, uh, check us out on Instagram at SporterX, why not? See you on the road.